click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends today we'll be discussing a partnership form case where contract costing is prepared which means contractors are partners how to profit to be divided and how the items to be shown in balance sheet that we'll be discussing today let us start with the question Messrs AB and Associate this is a partnership firm a partnership firm comprising of partners A and B undertook a contract to build a bridge for rupees 20 lakhs this is a contract price commenced work on 1st October the following is a trial balance of the firm as on 30th September 2004 so here contract period you can see 1st October to 30th September it is a period of 12 months that is one year let us go through the items plant and machinery it will be recorded as an asset in balance sheet office building asset material purchased it is an expense of the firm we are required to find out how much of this material is actually been used for contract wages this is a expense for the business we are required to find out how much wages are paid for the contract sub contracting charges definitely these are related to the contract so we are going to debit this to contract account interest it will be debited to profit and loss account office overheads we are required to find out how much office overheads we are required to apportion to contract account capital of ab so we are required to open a capital account where we are will crediting this opening balances of partners capital advance from contract e this will be recorded on liability side bank overdraft liability outstanding wages amount is given 10000 this we are required to consider for the contract creditors liability loans liability additional information material worth 4 lakh were sent to site this is information here we have material purchase 4 lakh 20000 here they say that material of 4 lakh were sent to site so this amount will be debited to contract account outstanding sub contracting charges 20000 at year end this will be debited to contract account it will be added to this item of sub contract charges second effect it will have on liability side allocate 50% of office overheads allocate 50% of office overheads so office overheads are 50000 here of this 25000 will be debited to contract account and balance 25000 it will go to profit and loss account the amount of office overheads which are not allocated to the contract will be directly debited to profit and loss account 100 pages 100% wages to the contract so your wages amount is 1 lakh 40000 the whole amount will be debited to contract account plant and machinery were used for the whole year on contract provide depreciation 10% so one effect from asset we are required to deduct 10% from plant and machinery and it will have second effect contract account debit partner a is entitled to salary of rupees 20000 for site supervision for the year provide the same in account one thing is that this salary is not monthly this is for the whole year and this is not paid to the partner so one effect will be contract account debit we are required to show this as an expense secondly it is not paid so it will be credited to capital account of the partner contract e pays 75% of work certified here the amount received from contract e we have 6 lakhs this is the amount we have received from contract e here they say that it is 75% of work certified so what we are required to get 
we are required to find out the amount of work certified. So it will be amount of cash received 6 lakhs divided by 75% multiplied by 100. Here we can find out the amount of work certified. So it comes rupees 8 lakhs. That is work certified amount is rupees 8 lakhs. Further information we have partner A and B share profits and losses in the ratio of 6 is to 4. So profit sharing ratio is given. If ratio is not given, we are required to take equal ratio. At the end of the year, work uncertified value 10,000 and material at site 20,000. So work uncertified is given, it will be credited to contract account. Material at site 20,000, this will be also credited to contract account. Prepare contract account, profit and loss account for the year ended 30th September and balance sheet as on that date. Plant and machinery 2,50,000. This plant and machinery will be recorded in balance sheet on asset side. Amount is 2,50,000. Office building amount is 3 lakhs. There is no depreciation on office building. Directly we can write in outer column 3 lakhs. Material purchase 4,20,000. Of this they have said material worth 4 lakh were sent to site. That means balance material of 20,000 is not sent to site. It has remained in warehouse. So it will appear on asset side, material in stores, 4,20,000 minus 4 lakh, so it will be 20,000. Wages 1,40,000, the whole of the wages are to be charged to contract, 100% of wages to be charged. So this amount will be recorded to the... And material as discussed, out of 4 lakh 20,000, 4 lakh will be debited to contract account. Subcontracting charges 80,000 debited to contract account. Interest 10,000, this will be directly debited to profit and loss account. So profit and loss account on debit side will have interest. Next we have office overheads. Here it says allocate 50% of office overheads to contract. So here out of that 50,000, 50% means 25,000 will be allocated to contract account. Balance 25,000 office overheads will be debited to profit and loss account. Next we have capital of A and B, 1,20,000 and 80,000. The opening balance of partners capital, it will be credited to their respective accounts. Partners capital account A 1,20,000 opening balance B will have 80,000 as opening balance Advance from contract T 6 lakhs Advance from contract T will be recorded on liability side Alternatively this amount can be deducted from work in progress on asset side Bank overdraft 1,40,000 Outstanding wages, it is given in trial balance. So directly it will be recorded on liability side. Outstanding wages, 10,000. This will have only one effect. It will not be again added to wages in contract account. Creditors, 1,50,000. Loans, 1,50,000. So we have required recorded required items whatever is given in the trial balance now let us see the additional information material worth 4 lakh were sent to site already we have recorded this outstanding subcontracting charges 20,000 contract account debit side we have subcontracting charges paid 80,000 will be adding outstanding amount 20,000 so now amount becomes 1 lakh this will have second effect in balance sheet on liability side, outstanding subcontracting amount 20,000. Allocate 50% office overheads, we already done that. 100% wages to contract, we have done that. 
प्लांट एंड मशीनरी वेर यूज फॉर द होल इयर ऑन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट प्रोवाइड डेप्रिसिएशन टेन परसेंट सो दिस टेन परसेंट डेप्रिसिएशन विल बी डायरेक्टेड फ्रॉम प्लांट एंड मशीनरी ऑन एसेट साइड अमाउंट ऑफ डेप्रिसिएशन इज ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड और डब्ल्यू डी वी इज टू लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एज प्लांट एंड मशीनरी वेर यूज फॉर द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ओनली सो नन ऑफ द अमाउंट विल बी डेबिटेड टू प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट द होल अमाउंट विल गो टू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अकाउंट डेबिट साइड डेप्रिसिएशन ऑन प्लांट एंड मशीनरी ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड पार्टनर एज टू गेट सैलरी ऑफ ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड पार्टनर एज सैलरी वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड टू द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अकाउंट सो आई डेबिटिंग ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट पे सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द वर्क सर्टिफाइड वी गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ वर्क सर्टिफाइड एट लैक देयर बाय पार्टनर ए बी शेयर इन द रेशो ऑफ सिक्सटी टू फोर एट द एंड ऑफ द इयर वर्क अन सर्टिफाइड वैल्यू टेन थाउजेंड एंड मटेरियल एट साइड वेयर ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड दिस विल बी रिकॉर्डेड टू द क्रेडिट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अकाउंट सो वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस वैल्यू बिकम एट लैक थर्टी थाउजेंड वी हैव रिकॉर्डेड ऑल इन्फॉर्मेशन वॉट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन नाउ वी कैन प्रोसीड टू क्लोज कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अकाउंट फर्स्ट आफ्टर क्लोजिंग कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अकाउंट वी गॉट नेशनल प्रॉफिट वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड is brought down here now we are required to split national profit between profit and loss account and reserves we are required to do small working note for that is percentage of work certified to contract price work certified divided by contract price multiplied by 100 so it comes to 40% work certified is 40% of contract price as work certified is more than 25% of contract price national profit to be credited to profit and loss account for that purpose we'll be using the formula 1/3 multiplied by national profit multiplied by cash received upon work certified so 1/3 multiplied by National profit is one lakh twenty thousand. So one third multiplied by one lakh twenty thousand multiplied by cash received upon work certified. It is given in the question. Contract he pays seventy five percent of the. So out of national profit thirty thousand will be transferred to profit and loss account. Balance ninety thousand will be transferred to reserves. Profit and loss account will be credited with this amount of thirty thousand. The amount of reserve ninety thousand, which can be shown here on liability side, reserve ninety thousand. Alternatively, it can be deducted from work in progress on asset side. Total amount of loss we are getting here in PNL five thousand. This will be distributed between the partners in the ratio of six is to four. So net loss is split between the partner three thousand and two thousand. This will be recorded to the debit of partners capital account. Partners capital account debit side the loss will be recorded. Now we can proceed to close partners capital account.
we are getting balance for A 1,37,000 balance of B is 78,000 these amounts will be transferred to balance sheet on liability side capital of A 1,37,000 capital of B 78,000 we have recorded all items relating to balance sheet now we will proceed to close balance sheet we are required to transfer work in progress item to the asset side of balance sheet work certified 8 lakhs work uncertified 10,000 material at site 20,000 8 lakh 30,000 let us close balance sheet we have recorded your work in progress on asset side work certified 8 lakh work uncertified 10,000 material at site 20,000 the total comes to 8 lakh 30,000 we can deduct reserve which is recorded on liability side from this amount as well as cash received from the contractee that is advance from contractee on asset side alternatively it can be presented here we have transferred closing balances of partners capital account from partners capital account they are transferred here on liability side let us now close balance sheet liability side total we got 13 lakh 75 thousand We should get same total on asset side. On asset side, we are getting 13 lakh 75 thousand. That means your balance sheet is tally. In this question, we have learned how to solve a problem when contractors are partners and how to divide the profit and present partners' capital account in balance sheet. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.